It's been a while since you last heard from us. A lot of stores closed around town, but the one that hurt the most was the Watha. The owner finally got caught serving miners. Ah, get your fucking hands off me. I didn't do nothing, you dirty piece of shit. Get me the fuck out of here, you fuck. But luckily for me and Hats, we are seeing some better days. After we took out those terrorists, we decided to take over their shop. Because that's what you do. Kill a gang and steal their hideout. But we rebranded it from 8-11 to something a little more original. Damn, I can't believe this is our store. Me neither, bro. We finally did something with ourselves. This is gonna be sick. Damn right. So, uh, I never owned a business before, Hats. Do you know what to do? Yeah, sure, dude. We just tore down the fort. Look, don't worry about nothing. You just walk around, make sure no one steals anything, and I'll ring up the guests and do all the hard work. Sounds good. Wow, my own store. Hey, welcome to my store. Your store? This is my store. My husband's store. It is finally under my management. You are trespassing. Get out now. Wait, what? This ain't your fucking store, lady. Your husband's dead as dick. Get out of here. Yeah, lady. Now get out before I call back up. No, you get out before I call the police. I am a company shareholder and I have ownership of this business now. Uh, do you have any paperwork? <sighs> Look, whatever, I'm not gonna read all this shit. I don't even have a lawyer. The store is yours. There you go. Is that what you wanted to hear? Hats, we can't just give up. We've been working on this store for months now. Boz, we don't legally own this store. We're beat. Let's just get out of here. Come on, dude. And once you'll beat, you'll beat. Damn. Now what are we gonna do? Well, we gotta figure out how to make money. Fast. It's time to grow up, dude. We can't be selling dime bags in the street anymore. You got any ideas? Um... And you don't want to sell drugs, right? Right. Uh... Wh wh why don't we uh, fill out an application for a restaurant or something? I'm saying we make a lot of money quick, bro. We can't be working day to day. Well, what do you want to do? Join the union? I mean, come on. Union. 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 Jimmy Hoffa. Fraud. That's it. We scam people. We what? We scam people, dude. People do it all the time. People steal shit, sell it on eBay. The government does it too. There are thousands of ways to scam people. We just gotta come up with a good one. How about we just make a GoFundMe page? I've seen people make lots of money off of those. This one dude needed money for his funeral and he made over $10,000. He didn't make money from that buzz, he died. But I think you're on the right track here. What if we make a GoFundMe that says we need help paying for Gramps' medical bills? and have an old photo of him in the hospital from when he had that hernia. Oh boy, I'm on it right now. I'm gonna go upstairs and get the laptop. And case closed on Dude, where have you been? Why haven't you come back downstairs? Sorry, man, I just got caught up in making this GoFundMe page. Check it out. Help support Hats' funeral costs and arrangements. Buzz, you can't post this. I'm not dead. Why don't you just do the thing we said about Gramps? Well, everyone knows that Gramps is kind of an asshole. So I figured no one would donate to him. I decided to just kill you off, and I'm sure we can make tons of money from this one, man. Buzz, you're an idiot. You gotta delete this. Oh, I can't delete it now. We just got a hundred bucks. From who? Dirty Dan. Wow. I always thought that kid was a scumbag. How the hell did he find out about this already? Oh, well, I posted it on Facebook so all of our friends know. So you're scamming all of our friends? Dude, we gotta tell them it's a joke. We gotta give them their money back. We can't do this. 20 bucks from Larry the Cactus? Damn, what a cheapo. This is ridiculous, dude. We gotta tell them it's a joke and give them their money back. I can't do that, Hatched, and people will think that I'm an asshole. You are an asshole, Buzz. What's with all the commotion? Don't you cunts know how to speak inside? I set up a GoFundMe for Hatch's funeral. You what? Yeah, he's being an idiot, and he doesn't want to give any of these people their money back. Jesus Christ, you idiots better really set up a funeral arrangement, or you're gonna have one next week. Dude, he's right. People are gonna be pissed off when they find out I didn't die. Oh boy, El Taco sent us enough money to go to Disneyland.
I can't believe the entire town gave me over $20,000. I know, man, we're rich. I knew it would work. Maybe we could take this money and move to Minneapolis. I heard rent is cheaper over there now. No, I like living in New Jersey, dude. This is bullshit. We're gonna have to do what Graham said and pay for this funeral. People are gonna think something's up if we don't have one soon. We ain't paying for no funeral. We have to. We have to make it look like I died. I, it's saying in this article I need money for a fucking funeral. Well, we could still have one. I'm just saying we don't have to pay for it. What are you talking about? I would like to thank everyone for coming out today. It's a really hard day for us all, but I know Hats is here in spirit, and he doesn't want us to feel sad. Um, as some of you may know, Hats was in a boating accident, and his body is now lost at sea. So we will have a closed cooler today to represent our friend. I wanted to see what a dead hat looks like. I uh, read inside a hat as well that he would like to be buried in the backyard. So that's why we are all gathered here today. <laughs> I, I would just like to say real quick, man. Hats was one of the best homes. He was... He... Oh, man. He was a real good kid, amigo. He was a real cholo. Damn, I say... <laughs> Rest in peace, Hats. We love you, man. Oh, that was very nice of you, El Taco. Larry, are you uh, ready to play? Uh, uh, yeah. I, um, I got drunk with Hats one night at the bar. And, well, he told me that this was his favorite song. It's alright. Yo, wait up. The funeral's in the backyard. What are you gonna do with all that money I throw me? I thought this was for a funeral arrangement. We in your backyard. This shit is free, B. Dirty Dan, it's so nice to see you. Um, come in now, come in now. Yo, guys, I'm alive. I found my way back home from sea. No need to worry about me. Oh, shit, it's a ghost. <laughs> well, that didn't work out how I thought it would. Sure it did. They showed up, saw what happened, left, and we still got all their money. So we still got $20,000? Hell yeah, boy. I'ma buy myself a jet ski tomorrow. Well, what was the point of all of this? When they see you walking around town tomorrow, they're gonna just want a refund. Nah, I think Buzz got this one under control, Gramps. Who's gonna ask for their money back? I'm a boat accident survivor. Unless they can prove I didn't do that. Exactly. You cunts are slow in the head. Why don't you just give them their money back? Well, that's because once you're beat, you're beat!